Uh, hello, so my name is Anton. I, I work for BMW, so and uh, I do C++, and uh, I use a lot of Boosted charts. So if you don't know what Boosted chart is, so this is an example. So we define a state machine or a state chart, so and we have some event here, and we have state, which have some reactions like transition to other state if some event comes, some custom reaction and some deferral. So. And now what happens? So, uh, for example, you get some code review and someone changed the state machine. So you have a huge state machine and someone changed some transitions and you don't know what to do. So, so for that task, you need to have an overview of what, state, of what the new state machine looks like. Uh, the same for new features when you need to modify the state machine or some back analysis or you need to get to know the new code base. So how do you get an overview? Uh, with Boosted Chart, you cannot look at C++ code because it's quite hard. So there is no transition table like in MSM, and the notation is quite verbose, and the implementation can even span multiple files. So you need to open multiple files and have a look at what's happening there and maybe write the state machine, by, uh, draw that uh, by hand. So what we can do here, and of course not to look at the C++ code, but have a picture. And uh, yeah, initially we had to do it manually, so our project have like 10 to 20 state machines, and they are modified quite frequently, so every time you get a review, you just go through the code and uh, draw the state machine by hand. And this was time consuming and me and my colleagues uh, done some small tool which would help us. So uh, this is a small command line tool which gets a binary. So why binary not the source? Because a parsing binary is much easier than parsing the C++ code. <laughs> uh, so, and uh, we get from there information about state charts, and we transform that to a user-friendly representation like UML diagrams. Uh, so here is a GitHub link, so you can have a look. Uh, we open source that. Uh, so how it works, so it gets a binary, then it extracts the object dump, then it parses the object dump, and it has some state chart module inside. Uh, out of that module, it can generate different outputs. Uh, one of the outputs is the plant UML markup, and you can use that one with the, gener with the plant UML to generate a picture. Uh, so, and maybe just a small example. Uh, I have two minutes, so maybe I can do it live. Uh, so, this is the code. Uh, this is just a machine. This is a modified example from official tutorial. So just some transitions and looking at that code, you don't see what's happening. So let's make it. So then we can run the tool uh, on this binary and we can list state machines. So it has only one state machine called stopwatch and we can generate a plant UML diagram from, from that state machine, for that state machine. So if we pipe that to some file, so and run plant UML on that, and we can open the PNG file. So kind of automatic generation for, so this is the graphical representation of that state machine. So then now when we get some code reviews, it's much easier to analyze the stuff. And uh, yeah, it's the same example. Uh, also, we use this tool in our build pipeline, so we generate automatically documentation. So when you modify the state machine, it automatically gets uh, uploaded to the server, so and everybody can see that. So and yeah, that's it. Thank you.